Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. I knew it was going to get hot at about 8.30 this morning. Yeah, how did you know? Because the sun just felt hot. It just felt different. Like a hazy view to it. Yeah, me. it just yeah. felt warmer. Yeah, Probably looked like and felt like a July morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, pretty much. But we didn't have the humidity, so... Which was nice. Makes it a little nicer. Look at the map, though. We don't have a 90 at the big weather stations, but these are the official highs from the day. 89 in Plattsburgh, so that tops the list in terms of hottest weather. Brattleboro got to 86, Bennington 85, the Upper Valley was very close to 90, even Montreal at 82. So impressive stuff, record breaking for sure on uh, this April 13th. Now it's not just the daily records that we set. This 88 in Burlington is the earliest it's ever been this warm. And the records go back to the 1800s. Previous earliest that it was this warm was about April 17th in 2002 so close but it is a new record and we felt it today now it's like a summer night uh, out there right now 75 in plattsburgh very close to 70 in stowe and waitsfield so the snow is still melting here at 10 17 at night if you've got any left 62 in lebanon 75 right now in rutland clear on storm tracker though no clouds no rain there will be a few clouds at least that come down from the north going into tomorrow morning little backdoor front will cool us off so it won't be as hot tomorrow but not expecting any rain showers through the day. It's still a mostly sunny sky all the way through Friday into tomorrow evening. And then as we push into Saturday, some more clouds south. That's likely the idea for the whole weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Could end up being a little bit overcast for southern spots, but the farther north you are, the brighter it will be through the weekend. Shower potential is very limited over the weekend. There might be a few popping up in southern Vermont especially on Sunday, but largely we have to wait until Monday for most of the showers. So it's basically summer or feeling like summer through Sunday with a high of 75. And then we slowly cool off going into really Tuesday of next week. So if you're wondering about the Boston Marathon, it looks wet, not super wet, but showers in the area. So temperatures will be held down. Good news that it's not crazy hot on Monday. We've got 40s in the morning, 50s, and then likely early, I should say low to mid 60s by the time the afternoon rolls around. That's in uh, Boston, but similar forecast for us on Monday. So tonight it is just like a summer night, 50s by morning, and then tomorrow is a warm day for sure. It's just not quite as warm as today was. 69 in Messina and Champlain. You go down the road a little bit, more like 75 or 78 in Tupper Lake. 75 in Burlington and still some 80s upper valley into southern Vermont. That's just because it takes the front uh, longer to get down there and it kind of washes out as it moves south. So it's just not as potent for southern spots. So 75 in the Champlain Valley, 80 on Saturday. So we warm back up. Could be some showers south on Sunday, 75. And then the most numerous showers, the impact weather comes in on Monday. Some showers linger into Tuesday. There might even be mountain flakes, snowflakes, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Either way, it's just a cooler, more typical April pattern there by mid next week. Brian? All right, Ty.